Stay with us as protests started not long after the mayor's office released the 911 calls from the shooting. And tonight, for the first time, we were hearing that 911 call from Brianna Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, desperately begging for assistance, all while trying to wake up his girlfriend that night. Tonight, Gabra Gagadis has the story. Tonight. Well, Doug, the release of the 911 call follows a number of steps taken since the deadly shooting, like changing policy on no knock search warrants and body cameras, including a change in leadership at LMPD with Chief St Steve Conrad retiring. And after hearing this audio, Mayor Greg Fisher says more changes are coming. I don't, I don't know what's happening. Somebody kicked in the door inside my girlfriend. Kenneth Walker is heard crying out Brianna Taylor's name. Brittany. Oh you said 26. God. Where was she shot at? I don't know. She's on the grill right now. I don't know. On the phone with an EMS dispatcher for two minutes, he tries to explain what happened. Help! Oh my God! Yes, help! What's your name, sir? Is, oh is she alert and able to talk to you? No. The 911 call was shared with WHES 11 by Taylor's family attorney Sam Aguiar. Just minutes later, Mayor Greg Fisher released the audio, calls from neighbors, transcripts, and a timeline of the reports to the public, saying in part, I have heard the calls from the community to share facts as quickly as possible. In a statement, Sam Aguiar said, listening to the call is one of the most difficult things I have ever had to do. It's a shame it took a subpoena for the audio to be shared. According to the computer-aided dispatch timeline, EMS is put on standby for the search warrants around 11 the night before the shooting. Almost two hours later, around 1242 March 13th, EMS is flooded with calls from neighbors reporting gunfire. Then another call on the radio that an officer has been shot. There's a lot of gunshots. Yeah, I need to get over here. They're shooting my oh, like crazy. Yeah, just get down. Our glass door is shattered and I understand there's something going on but I have a five year old in here to figure out what was unfolding. Some of them tried to take a peek, but said police ordered they go back inside. Last week, Commonwealth Attorney Tom Wine said Walker told police during his interview he had called his mother before dialing 911. His call to dispatch disconnects after Walker says he has to go. I'm gonna go. Well, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Kenneth. Now we did reach out to Kenneth Walker's attorney in a statement. He told us the 911 call shows conclusively that Kenneth did not know that it was police who had burst into his apartment. Doug.